why when you have a cataract in your eye and you can't see very good because everything's kind of blurry, um, it's hard to craft. Because I thought for a minute that this paper was peed on by the Chihuahua. But it's like, well, so when I went to touch it, it's not wet or anything. And it's not stained. It's like a mixed media type background, I think. Yeah, because it's not, it didn't go through, like, to the other side. It's, like, the same thing. I don't know. What do you think? It doesn't smell. I think it's just a mixed media type background on this paper. Interesting. So... Welcome to June, the fifth day of June already. And this month, I have decided to do the Rediscover Your Stash, which is on Facebook. And you got to pardon me for my <clears throat> kind of voice going in and out because um, I'm still a bit <clears throat> allergies going on. A allergies. Anyways, I'm sitting in my craft room. This is Rediscover Your Stash month where you do not buy anything for your craft room for the month of June. F personal stuff for my craft room. I'm still, you know, I still have a business to run and I still got to buy stuff, inventory for that business. And so that's okay. I just cannot add anything to my personal stash. I've got to use up what I have for the month of June. Which won't be too hard. I don't think it will be too hard. I've already made it through five days. And on June 23rd, I've got my eye surgery to get rid of the cataract in my eye. So, which was caused because of the retina surgery that I had when I got my retina fixed in December. So, eh, it is what it is. I got to get it fixed. I got to be able to see. I'm calling myself the one-eyed crafter right now. Yeah. So, anyways, I have put together a few kits and projects and stuff that I want to work on. I went through my stash and I've pulled a few things of what I will be working on for the month of June. And then, if I get it all done, which would be amazing, then we can go back and get more. Because I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, where do we start? We'll start up here in the front so I found these in my stash and I've never used them I'm going to flip you around though right now okay so I found these in my stash this is a fold out album called Zach's Life so I think it has a picture of it somewhere I'm not sure where but um, I thought maybe I could put these together. Oh, right there's a picture. So that's what it looks like. And then you add stuff to it. So I thought maybe I could put these together. I was trying to sell them and scrap for less, but they just weren't selling. So I brought them home and added them to my personal stash. And they've been in here quite a while now. So I thought maybe I could try to put those together. Then I have... Um, these cards that I can work on because I haven't I thought maybe I could use these up which I think are super adorable these are the um, the stack you use the foam dots and so you make them like a 3D card so you start with that one and then you add him and then you add him and then you add him so each each it's like a little stacked, but it, it's very 3D. But I thought I could use him up. This is the same concept. I thought these would be cute for Father's Day. So I'll make those up. And then there was this one that I could use up. Somehow we'll use it up. Um, it would be nice to get some of these used. 
Then I have some card fronts that I've never done anything with. This is a card. It just needs like a sentiment added to it. And then this is just a card front that needs to be added to a card. And then this needs a sentiment added to it. So yeah, that would be cool to get that done. And then I pulled this out for sentiments by Stampendis and some embossing folders that I could use. And then some more card fronts and stuff that I could, papers and stuff that I could use, I need to use up to make some cards. So there's like this real, feels like a, a velvet kind of. There's that one, this one feels the same way. Real pretty, some envelopes. There's a card base. There's a mixed media I never used. So I thought I could make a card with that. And then there's this. I thought I could add some ink to it or something. And then there's this card front, which I've never done anything with either. So that'll give me plenty of cards to work on for this month. I think it would. So I'll put those back in there. Okay, so those are the cards. Then I have, um, I have a scrapbook layout kit that I have already put together. So I thought I would work on this one, which, and I'm not sure I'm gonna use everything in this kit, but I'll try to do a lot of it. So this is a sketch I want to use, maybe, maybe, I don't know yet. Okay, and then this is a, a messy mixed media background that I tried to do one time. I tried to do that where you swing the, the, the acrylic paint bottle in a circle and stuff. Well, it didn't really work very well, so I just kind of just circled it all around and it kind of came out a goofy mess so but I think it will still make a good background so so I've got that and then some papers um I really like take a picture it will last longer I like this morning routine it's cute okay I like that and I like this paper. Was it this side or this side? I think it was this side. I like that one. And then I have this paper. And then this paper to use. Maybe it was this side. Maybe it was this side. The blue. I like the blue. Okay. And then I have this picture that I was going to use for the layout. My son picking up the Great Dane when the Great Dane was still a puppy. So, and the puppy, Cosmo has a look on his face like, what the heck is he doing? I thought it was cute. Then I got some stickers, some puppy stickers, some letters, alphas, some silvery paper I thought would work good, some brownish paper. <clears throat> some little heart embellishments. Um, oh, this was for the cards. I think these were for the cards too. So I got them in the wrong pocket. And then this one I thought would be cute for this layout because it's kind of the same colors. Um, yeah, I thought it might work. And it has all these little writings on it anything is possible like picking up a great dane complete idiot's guide to picking up a great dane yeah little things like that this goes to the stickers too this is for the layout some black black enamel dots matte black dots from stampin up and i think that this went to making cards too okay that's it for that layout okay and then i have layout kit number two okay let 
me get it all out here. And I'm just pulled stuff out. So this one is another mixed media background, which man, look at, I'm, I'm fumbling up my paper here. It's another mixed media background using this, this rolly pen stamp thingy. And it worked pretty good. There was a few, like, you really had to push it on this side because it just kind of, um, for some reason, this side didn't really want to stamp. So I really had to make sure I pressed it into this side. This one was the first time I used it. It took me a couple tries to get it to turn out right. But it looks okay for a mixed media background. Okay, then for that, I pulled out some of these papers because I thought maybe I'll go with a pink and green and this was my my uh, inspiration paper for this so I picked up these papers to go with it and I'm not sure I'll use them all but um maybe I don't know yet that one maybe these um i'm not sure maybe these then i got oh and this one kind of goes with so i was trying to find all my dusky pink pinks and stuff so then i pulled out these wordy bits some of these labels which would be good for journaling some numbers some of these uh, alphas these um why did I pull those oh probably for a few I love this right here I'm too creative for nine to five I like that and then some silvery alphas and some titles if I want to use these I like them because they look rainbow. -y. Okay, and then some stickers. And maybe this too. So the photo I have, which I haven't printed it out yet, is a photo of me and Paige Evans. Because I took a class. A class one time that where she was teaching and I got to get my picture taken with her. So I was going to use that as my photo for this layout. So... Then I made just a big kit of papers and I pulled these papers. These are the ones like all these will be my go to, my go to paper. So I have the Stampin' Up piece of paper, which I cannot remember the name of it at all. Well, first I'll start right back here because this was my inspiration paper which I thought was pretty cool I like that one okay let's we'll see if we can stand it up here okay is that what you can yeah we'll lay it down okay then I got this one this is by the same um coca vanilla legendary which so I know it goes with this because this is the same legendary collection and then I got this pineapple which I like and this I like this blue I could also use that blue if I wanted to and I think I got 15 papers I like these circles to cut out um, I guess it's upside down this is by Jilly Bean Soup. Um, sweet, so sweet sunshine soup. So I like that one. The back, eh, not so much. But, and then this one with the little polka dotty stitch lines on it. This is from Pink Fresh Studios. Called everyday musings I do like the back so maybe that's a possibility depends what we use it for 
Then this one, this yellow I like because I don't have much yellow. And this is by Hello Spring Honey Bunny. Hello Spring Honey Bunny. That's all. Hello Spring American Craft. Okay, then this one. I like the orange because I didn't have much orangey orangey in it and this is legendary again so I know it goes with that okay then this is the same legendary and I like the I like the cut aparts on it which I might use and I don't really like the back not at all okay then this one American crafts that's all it says I like the black and white And then this paper is by American Crafts Pink Paisley. I like the wood grain and even the pink on the back is pretty too. And then a Stampin' Up piece of paper. Um, I, I like the green side. I don't really like the other side. And then that one Stampin' Up too. And then a gray cardstock and a green cardstock. That's all the papers I pulled from my main kit. <clears throat> then I pulled this paper pad, which I've got so many of these. In fact, I could do a giveaway if anybody would like one of these leave me a comment all you have to do is leave me a comment and I will give away five of these paper pads so the first five people who leave me a comment will get one of these paper pads okay then I have this bloom paper pad by Maggie Holmes I want to say crepe paper so I thought some of these papers were pretty to use. I like this. I thought it would go well. Okay. That's enough of that one. Then I pulled out my I have I keep forgetting I had this in my in my stash. But it's a big old pad of die cut shapes. By recollections I'm pretty sure it's recollections with gold foil no it's die cuts with the view sorry okay so but it's got all these die cuts in it title bits and and cut aparts and die cuts ephemeras of all kind uh, yeah this will be great for it okay I can use this I could use that in my stash Okay, then we have the embellishment. Oh, my phone! I just had the avalanche. Okay. Then I have my sticker sheets. Okay, what did I pull for sticker sheets? Some alphas, some wordy bits girl power some more wordy bits green alphas more wordy bit I just like wordy bits titles some more words where um some alphas some alphas and more wordy bits wow that's all I pulled for that Plus, I can use things in other other collections. Journaling spots and more wordy bits. Look at that. Okay. Lots and lots of wordy bits. And then some tools and stuff. So I got these tags that I can use, try to use up. I've um, got these stencils that the tag, they fit on the tags. I guess it came as a kit. And then I have a bunch of little um, scattering bits. 
in here um, enamel dots I have an alpha stamp um, doilies more doilies and some a Vicky Booten ephemera pack which I thought would go well oh yeah yeah I have part of it in another I got this this part this. okay then breathe darling this is just a chapter not your whole story that might go look more wordy bits damn stickers okay and then pulled in a few of my scrap papers, which I do not know why I hang on to scraps, but you never know. There's a um, a puppy one. This is a scrap of Stampin' Up! paper. This is Stampin' Up! This is Stampin' Up! There's a, another piece of cardstock. There's another Stampin' Up! And we'll just kind of let you fall to the side here. There's a wordy bit of paper, too. So cut apart. That's cute. Um, some black and white paw prints. Um, this was a Celebrate Your Faith or something from... Uh, illustrations and faith or something like that and then a wood green scrap a gray tone on tone scrap some of these put on your big girl panties and deal with it and capture your life I thought I would use that one maybe that one who knows and then some tags which need to be cut up oh yeah I thought I could use those up and then I have my journal. This was supposed to be my everyday journal, but I kind of didn't do it every day. I started out with good intentions. See, there's March. Um, and then my last entry in there is May 10th. No, maybe not May 10th. Yep. May 10th. And then I just started fooling around I guess but that was my last entry May 10th and this was supposed to be an everyday an everyday journal thing but I pulled out some pieces and stuff for this and but I'd like to get back to doing my everyday journaling what well, everyday scrapbooking and stuff would be same as journaling right so, anyways I gotta get that finished and that's pretty much it. I think that gives me plenty to work with for this month. These are the photos I want to work with. So there's my dog, my Great Dane Hope, making a, a goofy face. Huh, I like how she tucks up her, her upper lip. When... There's me and my daughter. Uh, <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. And then this is, was a thing on Facebook. So stop what you're doing right now and take a selfie making this face. So, okay, there's that face. there, And here's me making the face. Yeah. Oh, well. It didn't quite turn out. There is my Great Dane, my Malty Poo, and my Chihuahua. There's Hope's Nose. And there's another one of Hope's Nose. So I thought I could make a layout called the Nose Nose. I thought that was cute. Okay. Then there are, there's my Great Dane and my Malty Poo laying at the back door. The door's open. They just didn't want to come in. They wanted to lay in the sunshine. So I thought that was cute. There's the sunset in our backyard after we moved in to our new house three years ago. And then there's all three of the dogs. 
I don't know why they're just staring at the door like they can't come in but the door's open but I caught them all and they're just like looking at the back door like they can't come in I don't know why then I have a colored picture and a black and white picture and I don't know if I'll use them together or not or if I'll do them separately but I've always wanted to do just a black and white layout that's all so I might do that with this all right, and then there's Hope just relaxing on the couch. That was her favorite love seat, and I got rid of it, and she was so mad at me. There's my daughter and me dressed up as nerds in the eyeglass shop. So we thought we'd try on nerdy glasses. She looks good. I look like a nerd. And there's a filtered photo of me on Snapchat. So I thought that was cute. So I look a lot like my daughter. Wow. It's uncanny. That's it guys. That's my kit. That's what I plan on working on for the month of June. And if I can bash this stash, if I can if I can smash this stash, that would be like amazing if I got through a lot of it amazing so i gotta get busy all right well thanks for watching i hope everybody's having a great weekend the weather here in colorado is 80 some degrees it feels like summer finally and i hope everybody is blessed beyond measure take care